The Porsche Panamera sedan offers the closest experience to driving a family-friendly Porsche 911. It combines the agility and performance of a sports car with a spacious and luxurious interior, accommodating four passengers and their belongings with ease. Think of it as a versatile fitness tracker. It handles practical tasks like displaying the time and date, but it also encourages a bit of spirited driving. Competitors like the Audi A7, BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe, and Mercedes CLS have also aimed for this balance, vying for your attention with similar blends of roominess and speed. Today, on the Top First channel, we'll delve into what sets the 2024 Porsche Panamera apart as the top choice in its class. So make yourself comfortable as we dive into the details. You may initially find it challenging to spot the differences between the new Panamera and its predecessor, but we're here to guide you through the changes. The updated design showcases a broader lower grille opening and a redesigned front end, featuring a new air opening slot above the front license plate mount, lending the car a slightly more assertive appearance. The wings flanking the hood line over each front wheel have been elongated vertically to enhance the car's muscular stance, while new center lock 21-inch wheel designs will be available at launch, though not as standard. Moving to the rear, the hatch door now boasts a frameless window design akin to the Porsche Taycan EV sedan. Additionally, the taillight bar ditches its previous 718 style shaping in favor of a single straight blade, echoing the styling of the Taycan. The interior exudes a sporty ambiance reminiscent of a high-end gym, sans the lingering scent of perspiration. All four seats provide snug support around corners, with the expansive central tunnel adding to the cocoon sensation. Crafted with premium materials akin to those found in Audi, BMW, or Mercedes vehicles, the cabin boasts a wide dashboard and distinctive design, elevating it above its counterparts. A departure from the fully digital trend, the driver's display features a physical rev counter dial, invoking a pleasingly retro vibe for some while others may perceive it as low-tech. Flanking the rev counter are two customizable displays offering varied information. Standard across all models is a sharp 12.3-inch infotainment screen, complemented by exquisite metal inlays and top-notch materials. However, the divided glass sunroof feels like a missed opportunity for a seamless panoramic experience. While the touchscreen infotainment system boasts clear, responsive graphics, it falls slightly behind the swifter, more intuitive systems in BMW and Mercedes vehicles. Voice control is available, but can be hit or miss. On the bright side, Porsche includes both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration, minimizing the need for the built-in system. Additionally, the air conditioning controls remain separate from the main touchscreen, featuring physical switches for easier adjustment while driving. For connectivity, updated USB-C ports are available for phone integration, ensuring compatibility with modern devices. The new Panamera will offer four distinct e-hybrid powertrains, catering to the increasing demand for efficiency, performance, and impressive range. Leading the charge is the Panamera Turbo E-Hybrid, featuring a reimagined 4.0-liter V8 turbo engine paired with a potent 187-horsepower electric motor, delivering a formidable combined output of 670 horsepower. Launching alongside are the Panamera and the Panamera 4 models, equipped with a modified 2.9-liter V6 turbo engine boasting enhanced performance, fuel injection flow rate, and ignition timing resulting in a robust 348 horsepower, 22 horsepower more than their predecessors. Performance figures highlight the Panamera's prowess, with the base model accelerating from 0 to 100 km per hour in 5.1 seconds and reaching a top speed of 272 km per hour, while the Panamera 4 achieves the same feat in 4.8 seconds, topping out at 270 km per hour. The Panamera Turbo E-Hybrid, on the other hand, accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in a mere 3.2 seconds, boasting an impressive top speed of 315 km per hour. Blending luxury sedan comfort with sports car agility, the new Panamera offers two suspension options. Standard is the dual-chamber two-valve air suspension with Porsche Active Suspension Management, or PASM, minimizing road imperfections while ensuring stability in dynamic driving scenarios. Optional all-wheel steering enhances responsibility and stability, especially at higher speeds. For e-hybrid variants, Porsche introduced the innovative Porsche Active Ride Suspension System. This groundbreaking technology features newly developed active shock absorbers connected to electrically operated hydraulic pumps, delivering unparalleled road connection and driving pleasure. Designed over six years, Porsche Active Ride balances agility with comfort, isolating road imperfections while enhancing the sporty driving experience. At the touch of a button, the chassis dynamically adjusts, 
mimicking a motorcyclist's lean into corners and compensating for rapid acceleration or braking by leveling the car. Additionally, the system can raise the car's body for easier ingress and egress, showcasing Porsche's commitment to both performance and practicality. Orders for the new Panamera opened in December 2023, with initial deliveries scheduled for March 2024. In Germany, pricing for the new Panamera starts at €107,800, while the new Panamera 4 begins at €111,900. The Panamera Turbo E Hybrid is priced from €192,500. In the UK, the new Panamera is priced from £79,500, with the new Panamera 4 starting at £82,500. The Panamera Turbo E Hybrid begins at £141,400. For the US market, the new Panamera is priced from $99,900, and the Panamera 4 starts at $106,900. However, pricing for the Panamera Turbo E Hybrid in the US is yet to be confirmed. The Panamera hasn't undergone safety testing by Euro NCAP, thus lacking an official safety rating. However, Porsche typically achieves a full 5-star rating when its vehicles are evaluated. Despite Porsche's strong safety record, it's noteworthy that some safety features typically considered standard are only available as options. For instance, autonomous emergency braking, commonly included in the base package of many Super Minis, is part of the Porsche options list. Similarly, features like adaptive cruise control can be added to the specification, but ideally, they should come as standard on a luxury saloon like the Panamera. It's a common misconception that German performance cars are always reliable. Contrary to this belief, Porsche tends to struggle in reliability assessments, with issues often proving costly to resolve. Unfortunately, the Panamera's reliability doesn't significantly alter this perception, as it tends to rank lower in recent reliability studies within the luxury car class. While Porsche offers a three-year warranty with no mileage limitations, those seeking a hassle-free ownership experience may find better satisfaction with a Lexus. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, my friends.